Welcome back to MBR and this is since I was a kid I hated the news. Going back as far as I can remember I just remember you used to always wish that something else was coming on or when the news would be over or just that this wasn't exciting or anywhere good and would there be a film or what's next? It could be anything, but it'll be better than this, the news. And I still feel like that today. And why is because the news is the past. Or the future. But it's not in the moment in time. And the only future it is is actually the past making a perception of the future. So when you read the paper or you listen to the news or any kind of media like that, what you're doing is you're stuck in the past. So the present becomes the past. And you can't move forward into the future of the present you because you're stuck in the past you. And you see things in the papers that hold you, that drain you back into the past so you can't move forward. Just think about that. When you watch the news, what are you watching? Something that's happened. Something that you can't do anything about. And even if you had been there, you probably still caught not on anything about. How does that help you or anyone else out there? Now, why would this set you back? Because you start looking at it and thinking, I'm worried. I'm feeling if you were there, how that would feel. Well, you're not there. You're not in that moment. And even if you were, you probably couldn't do anything about it anyway. So why would you feel stressed about it? Because you have no other choice. But you have. You have the choice to feel good and not to think about that. Because thinking about that is going to make you feel stressed. Has it not done enough harm? in the past when it happened without carrying itself on with how you're going to feel carrying the past on into the present without being able to move forward in being you concerned about you but you'd rather be concerned about something else in the past that is way out of your control Stop following the news, stop following the newspapers and follow your heart, yourself, your inner being, your true feelings. Take yourself away from the media if you want to gain a better version of you, I would say. Uh, everyone's different. It all depends on how attached you are, but if you do not notice how attached you become to stuff like the news and don't even know why as I said for me kid I could never like the news um, and even as a kid as far as I can remember and I remember it well as a kid I was just thinking that how does anyone believe in all this shit that and in the sense of believing, as in, this is all there is, why would anyone believe in this and feel that it has nothing to do with them, to affect them? But I knew that. And as much as I was aware of it, I still was confused at my growing up because of all external forces of other ways that distracted me. Were this might not have distracted you, just like me, or maybe it did. 
and you never noticed until I say now about how pointless it is. It doesn't benefit anything in any way or anyone in any way. Be something that's happened in the past be carrying it on. All it does is leave whoever carries it on in the past pushing that on to others to be stuck in that past. Move forward. Follow your heart. Do what you love and enjoy. Not what makes you feel ill with inside yourself. That's not going to keep you happy. That's going to hold you back and make you sick. Follow your heart and do what you love. Not your pain. I don't know why we do this. It's so silly to follow your pain. But I do know why. We get a quick rush from it. But rather than a quick rush, if you follow your heart, you get an everlasting feeling once you get that. Once you're following your true passion, do it for yourself. This is MBR. Thank you for listening. Please hit subscribe and hit the bell if you want to see my next videos. Hopefully this will help you.